everybody. Happy Hi in here. And yeah, it's been a bit. And DBZA is playing in the background. But we all love them. Anybody that doesn't love Team Four Star, I don't trust. So, the reason I haven't been doing any of my dream um, vlogs is because my mom recently had uh, carpenter tunnel surgery. One second. And it begins. I had no one here for almost an hour, and then people just start streaming in. Like, really? Really? Okay. So, um, my mom had surgery on her wrists, and I've been taking care of her, because she can't use both of her hands, which I don't mind taking care of my mom. I live with her. She gave birth to me. She buys me stuff. I buy her stuff. Anyways, so it's just like... Kaiser, no, stop having a nightmare. Um, <laughs> it's okay, Kaiser. So, um, yeah, I I get distracted easily. So, okay. So last week I had a few dreams. Uh, I'm just gonna do this all in one video. Try to keep it about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> The dreams I had last week that I didn't record, talk about recording, um, in one of them I was lost in my local Fred Meyers, uh, Fred Meyers I used to work at, and for those of you on like the east coast or the middle of the country, Fred Meyers is owned by uh, Kroger, and they also own Sam's Club. So, I was lost in one of those. A grocery store slash everything store. But not Walmart. And I was just looking at, I was stuck in the toy section. I was just looking at the toys. And when I was a kid, I loved, hold on, switch hands. My right arm is getting tired. Okay, so I loved going to Freddy's. That is what we call it, it's Freddy's. And checking out the toys. I just did. But I was just, for so the entire eight hours I was asleep, I was just lost in Fred Myers, which, you know, happened a lot in my youth. Um, that was last Tuesday's dream. Uh, I don't really think I dreamt Wednesday morning. Yeah, I didn't really sleep Wednesday. I was awake like all Wednesday. So on Thursday, I had a graphic dream that I'm not going to name out. So we'll just skip that one. Um, and Fridays. That one was pretty graphic too, so I'm not going to set off by that one. <laughs> um, let's see, Saturday, Saturday's dream. Saturday's dream was another lost one, but this time I was shopping for groceries at my local Winco. I made a mess in the, um, um, big, the bulk section where you buy by the pound or the ounce or whatever. And Sunday, didn't really have any dreams on Sunday that I can remember. Usually I remember them, but I've been real stressed with helping my mom. So she's missing like three work, three weeks of work. And it has her kind of stressed, so. And with my, with, I'm a very, I have a lot of empathy. So, I've been stressed too. So, when I do dream, I, 
I I was either so deep in REM that I just didn't remember them. And that happens. That happens when I'm really stressed. Usually, I remember my dreams pretty easily. Uh, I can't remember. Monday morning was. Monday morning was about. I think Davy Havoc of AFI slash Black Audio. He's really mean to me in that dream. I don't remember a lot of Tuesday's dream, which is technically yesterday, because <laughs> I'm uploading this on Wednesday morning on the on 1919. It's 1919 today, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, so it's like I dreamt that uh, I wasn't feeling good, and I came to work and my co-worker's like you look miserable dude go home I'll I'll cover your shift and I'm like thanks and then my alarm went off and I went no <laughs> oh, that was a dream I have really vivid dreams so so to make up for it a little bit since we're only at seven minutes or so I since I'm listening to the DPCA in the background I'm gonna tell you guys about a dream I had well, uh, maybe a year ago. I don't remember what day. I don't remember what month. I don't even remember what week. I just know it was last year. I think. It might have been 2017. But anyways, it's about Kaiser Nico of Team Four Star. So, I dreamt I was at my local Fred Myers, but I was outside. I was in the parking lot. And out of nowhere, I see this guy. I'm... Okay, so... To give us a little bit more context of that particular dream, I was grocery shopping apparently in my dream, and I was leaving with my groceries. And I was packing up my friend Chibi. Her, I was packing up the back of her Yukon with my groceries. And uh, didn't have enough room for the box of popsicles, so she and I just sat there in the rain and ate them. In the rain. They were the, like, the, the really skinny, um, fudgesicles that you can get that are on a stick. We just went, oh, oh, oh. we're going to throw it away. And as I go to throw the trap, go, that box of popsicles, and now, pops, they're just sticks. We ate the popsicles. We ate the fudgesicles. We ate all of them. They are good. Um, I went to go put them in the trash, and when I looked up, I saw, um, Kaiser. I'm like, oh. he was wearing this most amazing jacket. It's similar to my Team Instinct jacket I have that's over here. It's got the two tones for the most part. And I dreamt that on the back of the jacket, it had Jack Skellington. But it looked like... It looks a little hip hoppy, you know, like the art that that art style for like artists will have on their the back of their clothes. Um, his face, more of his face was like Day of the Dead designed, and it was just glamorous. It was so beautiful, and it was in a lot of golds and reds. The jacket itself was black. The sleeves were a nice, deep, beautiful purple. And the inside that I gleaned at, I'm like, oh, that looks good. So I just wanted to ask Kaiser where he got it. But he was avoiding me like the fucking flag. Excuse my language, but he was. He was avoiding me. He was like, I don't know you. I don't know you. Go away from me. And I'm just like, Kaiser, I just want to know where you got your goat. Please tell me where you got that goat. Because... Here, let me hold my phone in a weird way, and I will show you something real quick. So, oh, hey, I have on my arm, I can't see his face, I've got Frankie from One Piece, Luffy from One Piece, let me actually get it to her. 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And... Oh, hold on, one sec. As I put my thumb on the fucking... And then... I'll show you guys my tattoos a little bit. That's what we're gonna... I got the star for Mario uh, Mario Party. I got Brooke from One Piece and Chopper from One Piece. Also have that one. But I just wanted to know where Kaiser got his jacket. It looked epic. I'm like, I'd pay 150 bucks for that because it looked warm. And it was raining, but he ended up crawl. He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, I love this jacket. I think I got it from a fan. I don't 100% remember. Uh, thanks for being a fan, but I gotta go." And I'm like, <laughs> "So we got in this big truck, kind of looked like my brother's truck." And all I could tell is that Lanny, I can't remember if it was Lanny or if it was Grant that was driving him. But yeah, <laughs> like, guys, I just wanna know. <laughs> it was beautiful, right? And on the front, like, because it was one of those zip, zip up hoodie, hoodie jacket things, it had a hood. Uh, the hood was black. The inside, I don't remember what color the inside of the, the jacket was, but I just know it was black, purple, and Jack Skellington was so beautiful but it had Jack's face right here in the same style that it was on the back but smaller smaller <sighs> it was beautiful and I just wanted Kaiser to tell me where he got his jacket That's all I wanted to know but he didn't want anything to do with me so when I woke up from that dream and that's before I started doing these dream blocks when I woke up from that dream I threw him a Twitter going, you know you uh, listen to too much DBZA when you're sleeping, when you have a dream about Kaiser and he avoids you like the plague. Um, I still want to know if they got the gift I made them. I made them something. I was trying to get to them before Christmas came, but I don't know. Hopefully they got it. Hopefully they liked it. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more consistent with these. It's just this last week has been. Ah. So yeah. I hope you all have a great day. Keep in mind that today is 1919. I I don't like math, but I like numbers. <laughs> okay. Like my favorite number is seven. Multiple reasons. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> my real first name. The f my first name. There are seven letters in my first name. I was born on a seventh. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I also, what I was going to say in the last video, but it got cut off weird because I ran out of space on my phone. I had to delete my other videos. Um, I don't want to be one of those that says, Best to like put in. It's a skip. I'm not like that. Either enjoy my content or don't enjoy my content. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Um, though I would like to be successful. So if I ever lose my job from here again, I gotta put more content up. I know that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just, if you like it, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, what I can do about it. I'm 
I'm trying to keep myself from cursing. I'm trying to keep background noise down. It's just really cold in here, so I apologize, but I do have like this little heater going because my work doesn't have working HVAC. So it's cold in here during winter and then it's boiling in here during summer. Yeah. So, by the way. <laughs> There's stuff right here. <sighs> I was gonna see if I was gonna say anything else, but I don't think I've got anything else on my head because I'm easily distracted and I'm lost in my head like all the time. Though I do need to get Frankie touched up. Look at that. See, his hair's not perfect. And some of his face, the black part on his face, needs to be touched up too. Frankie is my newest tattoo. I have 10 tattoos. Frankie is number 10. Jack was... Ooh, Jack will be 10 years old in... I want to say March? Dude! And another fun fact. Let's see if I can get my shirt up. The shirt I'm wearing under my hoodie is the shirt I used. I took a picture of this shirt, cleaned out all of the drippy parts for like this melting wax effect that it has, and then printed it and took it to my artist, my tattoo artist. So I'm like, I want this on my arm. He's, and he was like, okay. It was the first tattoo that artist did for me. Not not the first tattoo he did for me, but the first tattoo that when we were done, he took a picture of it. So, yeah. Have a great time, guys.